Hey everybody, how we doing today? By you, Chief All Day here in the Florida Keys. Actually the whole week, actually like 10 days of flat calm winds in the Florida Keys. Beautiful out here. And we are headed out to the Content Keys. Bam! Where last time I got stuck out here, and hopefully I don't repeat that, but we are going to be working the east side of the content and i just want to do a little bit of exploring today so that is the plan all right we are over here on the far east tip of the content keys so that's the easternmost point there got the little island here and uh there's basically three things that i want to check out today um one is those bright white sandy flats there it's a little bit off the edge, but just flat white sand there. I usually don't find much in those white sands because I, I usually look for more broken bottom, but uh, we'll check them out because we usually, we usually don't get sand patches like that around here. Uh, next is, where's is it at? over here? The channel that runs right along the split there. It's a deep water channel, moves a ton of current. Uh, so I kind of want to see the outlet of that and then all the way through bonefish permit and then i want to do is to go look along the edge of the contents itself for tarpon channels uh waters ways that might go through there and those will actually be good for tarpon and uh, mangroves so that is the plan let's see what we see well right now we are on over the high tide and it's dropping and it's dropping really fast so i don't want to do a repeat of getting stuck again so i think regardless of what happens i'm taking the long way route around that little mystery island and then that channel that goes all the way back versus trying to go straight back like i did because i think today is actually a negative tide around uh eight o'clock so at right at dark and uh yeah i don't want to get stuck so hit it and get it as i was coming over this deeper edge wrap around on this island i'm pretty sure i saw a bunch of redfish so we'll take a look and see if they were and i didn't spook them out of there see if we can find them oh right there right there shoot i'm gonna go right over them Oh, where'd they go? Oh, right over there. Yep, reds. Redfish, redfish. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That's what they were, redfish. Oh, there it goes over there. There's a bigger one there. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, there they go. There they go. Oh, there they go. Shoot. Look at all of them. Dang it. Alright, what are they doing? Definitely time. Oh, look at all those snook. Holy crap, those are all. Look at all those. Holy mackerel, look at all those. Look at all of them. Holy man. Whoa. Those are all snook. Oh, oh, look at all of them. Look at all those. And what. Oh, look at all these. Man, I'm scaring everything. Look at all those. Like a hundred snook. Man, I just did not do good on that. That was bad. Oh, there's more down there. I haven't spooked those. Oh, that's a cuda. I don't want you. A lot of kudas in here as well. Oh man. I'll just bounce it down. 
Hope Akuda don't get it. Reds and snookers. Lots of them. Oh, there they go. More of them. Those are kudas. Holy mackerel. Those are all kudas. All right. Well, I'm going to go to the white sands over there while I still can. And then uh, I'll sneak back over here and see if I could do a better drift job. And then I'm going to hit the outlet there. Man. That's crazy. All right. So we've got all these sandy patches here. I'm going to take a quick scan. I can see a shark going across that one. Water is dropping fast. So I'm going to hit this really quick. I can't even make it back. So I'm going to have to go out around and hopefully find the channel that can take me up to the uh, content keys channel. But we'll take a quick look here. This might be a only at high high tide spot. Look at all the clam shells. This is a clam rich environment. This area got a lot nicer. I lost the sun, but it's deep enough here. And then you can see where the distinct line where it uh, breaks up starts getting deeper. Well, here's a better look at the sand flats with the sun out. And pretty much see pretty well what's around and that's a big whole lot of donut holes I have a feeling when that uh, line there starts popping up it kind of keeps them on the outside but I'll drift around here a bit and see what we see yeah I think this spot is a uh, high high tide only because this area here creates kind of a flat, flat barrier. So in order to get over here, they would have to go over this super skinny. And that's dangerous. So when this is not visible, then they'll come up. But as soon as it starts dropping, I think they're on the other side. Yeah, we are getting skinny. I can't even get back to the channel up here. So I'm just going to push along and then probably end up walking. It's hard packed uh, sand so it's not bad but fish aren't going to swim across here to get to that channel so maybe be snook and tarpon and mangroves but not bonefish and permit like I was thinking. So we want to get up to the, uh, the channel up by the island so there we go. All right, so there is kind of a cut that comes through here. Kind of goes about halfway to the actual outside edge, so. I think it's just, that'll work. I won't get totally trapped in. Just take this out and then I just have a little bit farther before I get out to the open water. All right, so let's go check out the other spot here. Section number two. Yeah, that's a pretty big cut down here, pretty deep. See if we see any fishies around. Big cuda. Oh, then it gets on the flats here. That's interesting. I like that. All right. Nice sharky shark. Not sure what those were. Oh, look at all the. Uh, glass minnows. Oh, a big old grouper. Oh, what's that right there? That wasn't a goliath grouper, so... Oh, what are those over there? I think those are tarpon, maybe? Interesting. Make sure I don't miss any bonefish.
Mahuas. Nice. Thought there would be something decent along these edges, so. Yeah, that was either a gag or a black grouper. Huh. Now, if those were pilchards, I still might take a look and see if there are any pilchards in this thing. There's going to be juvenile tarpon, I guarantee it, around here along this edge. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cruise down it just to see what I, what those were. And then I'm gonna follow this edge along as far as I can get if it's deep enough and just see what uh, what's getting pushed out of there. I saw something swimming back in that way. Oh, there's, there's stuff swimming over there. It's like th right there in the shadows there. That sunspot. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, there's some stuff right there. Uh, let me see how I'm going to anchor up. Oh, I don't want to get this close. I think there's something right there sitting on yeah that's got to be something sitting across the bottom there drift it back in there oh I was looking at it I think that's a little tarpon or a snook Ooh, that spooked it. Yeah, there they are. It's on the bottom there. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, right there too. What are those? Is that tarpon or is that snook? Ooh, something's scaring these. Look at them. Oh, those got to be snook. Those have got to be snook. Oh, oh, yeah, those are snook. He bit at it. There's just snook everywhere in the keys. Oh, 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 looking at it. Oh, Jack came and spooked him. Oh, there's a Goliath right there. Oh, there's more back in there. Something's chasing these fish up, getting them all riled. There we go. Anything over there? Oh, there's one right there. Oh, 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 he's coming. He's, oh, that's a nice one. He's smelling it. Ooh, he was a nice one. Wouldn't mind having him. Oh, there's a whole school of them. Pink shrimp, maybe? It's heavier. It's gonna make more of a kerplunk, but they don't seem to be freaked out by me. Oh, there's that Goliath right there. That's a Goliath. Uh, no, I don't want him yet. I'll get one of these guys here first. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, he spit it out. 
he took it and he spit it. Oh, they're, they're all riled up now. There he goes. Oh, what the heck? He took it and spit it. Is there a point on this hook? What the hell? Come on, guys. I got to set that hook better, too. Oh. What the heck? My bail open. Oh, it got weeds on it. Now I'm now I'm spooking them. Now I'm making them nervous because I'm nervous. Oh, feeding frenzy's going to start here. Feeding frenzy's going to start here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. There's a Goliath. Another Goliath. Oh, there's all those other ones there. Oh, I'm on top of the tree, that's why. Oh, oh no! Oh. That was a Goliath, and he broke me off. Oh, he came and got it. What is going on? All right, we're going to go back to the 1 8 ounce. This is more glass minnow like. These guys are sticking their heads out in front of there. There he goes. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he wanted it. That guy, he's the one that broke me off. He's like, I know you guys are eating something. Look at all those. Oh, look at all of them over there. And him, he's got them scared. Took my pink bonefish jig, Goliath grouper, bad grouper. That's a bigger one there. I don't want anything to do with him. Oh, there's coming. Oh, he was looking at it. Schnook, schnook, and groupers. Oh, there they are over there. Oh, little one. Oh, oh, he looked at it. They want some meat. I ain't got no meat. Ah, these guys, they're smelling it before they uh, ingest it. Maybe I'll just go cast net some bait. No, I'm going to, I'm going to go up and go do like I said before is see what's up there. And then while I'm up there, I might uh, cast net some sort of bait. Oh, look at those three Goliath groupers. One, two, three, four. Nice. All right, we're out of here. I'm going to head up to at least that point and check it out up there. All right, now I'm going to the standard all about the bait uh, bucktail jig with the Cobra jig head. Uh, this has the uh, wider gap uh, 2x strong mustad. So for these bigger fish, the, the bonefish hook, I've got it designed so it's a thinner profile. Not the best for a, a good hook set on something with a bigger mouth. So we'll see how this works out. Plus this quarter ounce, it'll get down to them. I don't want these Goliaths, so... Actually, I think these are uh, just uh, baby um, pilchards, is what they are. 
they've got that darker green uh, back on them. They're more teardrop shaped. I don't know if you can see them in the sand there, but that is little pilchards. Juvenile tarpon. Yeah, it got skinny up here. That's why everything's back in that hole over there. When this water drops, everything gets pushed out. You can see how it's all flat, 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 but you always want to check out anytime there's a point. Usually when there's a, a point, that means the, the current has to wrap around it, and then uh, it tends to dig out a uh, trench, so thinking that's going to be a nice little hole there. Yeah, you can see how it gets deeper here. Those are snook right at the edge there. Oh, four of them, five of them all underneath that base of that tree there. Snook, snook, snook. These are all snappers. If these are grunts, I would cast net them. I'm looking for bait. Oh, they're all lined up over there. I could throw the fly on those for days. All right, let me go around this corner first. So many toys to play with. Nice. All right, I went a little bit farther. Uh, I was hoping I would run into any of the channels that wind through the island, but I think they're over there closer towards the middle. But those would be the tarpon tunnels. We find a lot of mangroves and everything in them. But the rest of this is just this flat stuff. It's a pain to push through. So I think I'm going to cast net. See if I can cast net uh, these mohara. They're just really fast. I usually don't target them specifically because they're so fast. I catch them as bycatch when I'm cast netting for something else. Oh, look at all the snook. They came out when they heard the noise as well. Oh, I got a rod here real quick. Rod, rod, rod. Get on them. Oh, there they are. There, they are. there we go. There we go. Oh, looking for it. Oh, the snappers scared them. Those snappers and the cootas spooked them. Um, oh, in the trees. Oh, that wrapped it up good. The snook. There's a nice snook there. Oh, he turned. What am I doing? Ooh, look what I found. Looky, looky. Oh. Nice. A floating chum net. Bunch of cheap crap. <laughs> oh, it's got a bottom release. No, it's not even a bottom release. What does that do? Nothing. All that to hold one chum block. And you really don't want to need it to float there. You just want it to hang off the boat with the stuff hanging down. Useless. That yeah, cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh, my stuff is so much better. If this is my competition, I'm embarrassed for them. Look at the big old grouper. He's out in the sand. That's that Goliath. That's all my bait I can't catch. But I'm not even going to mess with these guys until I can get a some sort of bait. We'll go by him. He seems pretty chill. This is the one that I thought was like a black or a gag, but it's a it's a Goliath. He's just a very light colored one. Hello. How are you doing? I mistake mistook you for somebody else. Such a light color, but I can see the bars so. Goliath. All right, I couldn't find any bait. Sad days. So the uh, 
wind is picking up the uh, tide is really dropping i need to get out of here so i'm gonna play a little bit with the uh, bucktail see what we could do and then uh we're gonna head out of here i'll come back another day loaded with some uh bait and uh whack these guys but that kind of shows you natural bait fishery number six five four whatever in my last video so there you go proof is in the pudding let's see if any of these guys will be interested in it they're under there i saw them I don't, where, don't know where the big group of them went though. Yeah, came out for it. Maybe a weightless fluke might be the ticket. Weedless fluke. Something. Oh, they're way back in that. They're all stacked underneath there. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. He got the buck. He got the bucktail. Come this way, come this way. Oh! Cut me off. Yep, nice sharp freaking gill plates. All those snook, and then there's the Goliaths. Goliaths. Snook. He's dark. You're very dark. The other one was really light. Oh, I see another tail of another Goliath underneath there. Oh Lord, 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 help me. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I definitely don't want to get trapped and that doesn't look very good. And this is why that spot is so packed full of fish there and no bone fishing permit over here. Yeah, no access. So both spots are landlocked during a low tide. I was hoping that there'd be a continual channel that I could run through, but no, too skinny. See, look at this. I'm gonna have to walk and drag my kayak across the freaking landmass just to get to the water out there. There's no other passageway. Stuck. Dang it. literally have to drag it Ugh. USA! Help me! Oh, come on! See, you're not getting across there. That goes for like a mile. Landmass. So I gotta go all the way around. That's the only way. It's basically from here to the island is pretty much the same distance or probably even a little bit farther from the island to the channel that lets you inside. Oh, at least I got sunlight. All right, I think I found a channel. This should take me back to the main channel. Fingers crossed. And then I'm making progress to get out of here. What a pain. Content keys. I don't know if you're worth it. <laughs> Man, that is some crap. This is basically where I entered to go over there 
in order for me to get back to this spot I had to go all the way way out out past the flats and go all the way to there and that's the distance I had to go on the other side to go all the way back in and then back over here just to get back to this starting point ah oh, content keys is a pain in the ass Alrighty, we made it back the Sun has set but golly that is a brutal ride back um, it's much better than having to pull and paddle all the way back but it's probably at least twice the distance and that took forever so I don't know about the content keys uh, I mean I must have saw probably another hundred snook in that two spots there redfish uh, tarpon goliath grouper mangroves but I don't know if it's worth it all that driving to get there and then the hassle to get back if, if you get caught in a low tide Oh, it's just brutal. But uh, I think I'll still do a couple more trips out there. But definitely got to watch that tide. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. And I will see you next video. Bye.